I can't see anything. Uh, someone just... That was definitely someone knocking. This is freaking me out. I gotta go back out. How the mood just... There's something about this house. I'm telling you guys. Look at this. Up here. Oh, boy. Oh, ah, what the heck is going on? So what is going on guys, this is Ryan here and welcome back to We Happy Few Where for this intro, I ain't gonna talk nothing about taking my joy guys because as you can tell, I've already gone ahead and taken it so any bobbies knocking at the door, they don't need to because I've already taken it. You guys already know as well from the intros, when it comes to me being honest with you, you can believe me, okay? <sighs> Guess I had no choice. <laughs> Mmm, nice. Welcome back anyway, guys, to We Happy Few, or more importantly, Sally's epic, insane, incredible story. I remember ending the last episode off where there was another knock at the door, and we didn't actually check out who it was, so that's exactly what we're going to be doing right now. We're going to proceed anyway and hop straight into this episode, because Sally Ball's story is extremely interesting, and if you don't want those freaking pizza hands to give you your joy, take it now. This dude doesn't stop ringing my doorbell. I'm gonna punch the freak out. <laughs> anyway, guys, welcome back then to We Happy Few. So at the minute, I'm just gonna get myself some pure water. I think at the minute I've got to wait. Change the filter. Uh, I, I didn't know that was gonna be a thing. For goodness sake, are you freaking kidding me? I'm really angry right now. So we left off with a very, very persistent person at the door. What I think's actually going on is we've got like a robot rigged on a metronome, you know, and it's kind of just doing that over and over again. Gonna need myself a new water filter soon as well. I was hoping to keep the water for my own person, but I don't know now. See, the problem is I'm also gonna keep needing to feed the baby over time, and that is gonna be a huge drain on that. So let's go ahead, swipe this, and figure out who the freak is at my door. Some patience, please. It's a Bobby. Sorry to bother you, ma'am. The lads is, uh, wondering if you've got any blackberry ready for him. Uh, oh, I'm working on it. In a day or two, I hope. This feels the weird, right? The lads is getting a mite twitchy, yeah. to tell you the truth. I must ask you to uh, accompany me to the station, so you can explain yourself to them. Take your mask off, man. Can't even pronounce your yes, you can even... Masks aren't always perfect, guys. What? This is so... I don't understand so... the worry. Bizarre. Haven't I always provided you with blackberry? Yeah. I just had a little hiccup in the lab. Yeah, some dude broke in. I'd be working on it right now, but apparently you lads are lonely. That ain't quite true though, Mom, is it? Mm, Mom, You've again. You've been seen all over town doing all sorts of things. We I have... don't imagine that Lionel Kashir is much of a source of pharmaceutical ingredients. Ah. Oh, but there, you'd be wrong, Constable. See, I had to replace some bits of lab equipment. We're not and lying. you've been roaming around the Golden District doing Lord knows what. To get yes, those bits. Yes, well, I, um... Oh. Blackberry is made with herbal extracts. Why do you think it's called Blackberry? And the Victorial Memorial Camp. Mm. Two visits in the last week. Uh oh. I suppose them visits was for our benefit as well. Exactly. Not at all. See, it's like I don't need to even justify myself. I was visiting the general. I get it. He I mean, also uh, gets uh, quite cross when I haven't seen him in a while. Oh, uh, so he. Uh, well, yes, yes, of course he would. Uh, right. Well, we can hardly expect Miss Boyle to ignore the general now, can we, lads? <laughs> Oh, of course you would. I hope he's not being like that. Miss Boyle, the lads have developed an appetite for your fine cooking, as it were. If they go hungry, chaos will ensue. Why am I still hearing the baby we cry? You know, must insist that got you a baby in the station. Your full and urgent attention to feeding them. Or what? Sure. Or Whoa. we shall be compelled. Willing or no, uh -oh. to provide your assistance, willing or no, okay, to Dr. Verloc. Uh oh, and that won't be cheery for either of us. Yeah, but then your bobbies are gonna start off Blackberry can't Joy. I for being antsy. Uh, yeah, you can. It's not fun going off Blackberry. So it's and like past if they go back on regular here? Joy, oh, they'll get the cramps and they won't even remember why. Thank God hmm. I'm almost done with this new batch. So, Blackberry is a totally new thing. Go back to your lab. Keep the home fires burning. Uh, hold up a sec. I don't really think that's a wise thing to do. Seems like this Blackberry Joy stuff that we've been making has seriously had a big impact, more specifically on the coppers of the place, okay? And I guess now it's kind of having its downfall. Why did we even start developing it? Wait, what the freak? Now that is not a tap running, am I right? Jesus. There is something freaking wrong right like now. The... Oh, God. <gasps> Woo. All Where right, the extinguisher. extinguisher. Uh, yeah, good question. Where the freak is it? Christ almighty. I think it might be upstairs. Uh, can you wait a sec? No? Jesus, no. Oh, my goodness me. Fire extinguisher, fire extinguisher. Why don't I have one? Bathroom, bathroom. <laughs> no? Okay, I have no idea where it is, but I'm going to pick this desk. No idea why I'd go on that. Read this if I die mysteriously. What the? Okay, I'm going to read it anyway. But back to the problem at hand. This right here. Fire extinguisher. Uh, Clentel. Yeah, pick that up before it burns up. Uh, fire extinguisher. Right there. Okay, right here. You got to go. Gotta freaking go. So who did this? 
Like, I turned all of the fire stuff off, I think? Or did I? I must have left one of them suckers burning. Great. Maybe I am responsible for this disaster after all. <sighs> Fantastic. And the last one over here. Wow. Everything is in ruins right now. Examine the lab. What, what of it? You mean the freaking remains of a burned down thing? <sighs> okay. Deary, deary me. First things first. How bad is the damage to the lab? They look fairly fire resistant. Enough for the most part. Try it and the right crystallizer's there. broken. Ugh. Okay. Why do I get an N7 vacuum tube? Just what oh, I was thinking. God. My old chemistry box. It must be still in my old house. So we gotta go over there. Travel to the I was really hoping residence. I'd never have to go back there. You got no choice. Is mother still there? You know, I'm starting to think right now. It's finding like a nice way to try and bring in all of the elements of Mrs. Boyle. And uh, someone actually tweeted me the other day that Boyle is some kind of like chemical thing. So interesting. I think the people thought about that before they called her that, you know what I'm saying? Now we did go ahead and collect this note here called In Case of My Mysterious Death. And I'm going to give this thing a read. You bi- It's not bad enough that you left. You had to take my notes too. I'm sure it's very amusing to you to imagine me frantically trying to recreate our formula. How dare you set yourself up as a competitor after all I've done for you. You were nothing but a shop girl when I took you in. I suppose you think you can treat me this way now that you've hooked Sir Robert and oh, so fast you have hooked him. But how long can a really serious man enjoy your moods? Someday you'll be alone without a protector. Once enough time has passed, that's when I'll come for you. I want you to think of me always. If instead you come to your senses and want to come home, I'll be waiting, but not for long. Anton. Once again, another mystery we must figure out in time. And again, the granny squad is out in full freaking patrol right here. I see you all. So where the heck are we actually headed to now? Quite a distance away. Again, we keep making these long distance treks. Now, one thing I wanted to do with this series, guys, is make it more entwined so that we're always making a load of progress as we're playing. Because it is kind of slow at the minute. I want to focus solely on, like, the story of Sally so we can learn a lot more for each episode. And I might actually tone down the editing so I can focus more on actually playing the game. One thing I need, I got loads of points. Can I get the skill where no one looks at my bad habits anymore? Yes, I can. And that means that this game has completely changed up for me again. Thank you. Yeah, this check this the out, man. Blow up. What? I really should never have posted that letter. Uh, yeah, you shouldn't have. You're right. Now, though, that we can go ahead and sprint around the town without no one freaking caring or giving a crap. Look at you freaking stupid Bobby. Uh, yeah, they probably do still care about the language, so we're going to skip that one, actually. But they don't care about us running past them all. Everyone just ignores us. This one, though, is the wrong way. But what I'm going to do is actually hop over the wall. You can run a lot quicker, though, guys, if you're on the outskirts, because you can see it's basically a straight path, whereas before in the city, you're, like, dodging and weaving everything. So let's get there now. Ah, much better. So we're heading straight back through the same way we came before. One conscious effort I need to make, okay, guys, because I didn't before. I need to be very, very certain about finding the track hatches because that would speed this whole thing up. Last episode, I kind of thought that when I was editing, there probably was like a safe hatch around and I didn't activate it. Kind of done goof myself on that one. Like, let me see if I can go ahead and scope one out at the minute. Couple of ruined houses, but other than that, no, I'm not actually seeing one. I used to wear clothes like that. Oh, crap. That's a good point. You did. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to switch back out. Corn suit back on. Stop your freaking staring, all right? I saw deck you one. And yes, guys, that is the scientific term as well. Okay, what's the fox doing now? Or the rabbit Before or something? We begin, please listen okay. to a personal message for our prudent friend. Let's go. The fox is in the hen house. So everyone's dying, the fox basically. is in the hen house. That's what mm. I think. Our prudent kind of friend. Did we hear that one last? I, I like can't remember. They have so many weird translations for that. Okay, oh. so making the tracks all the way back. I think we came here before, did we not? Because if I remember right there, yeah, that's when we saw the pictures of like Arthur on the outside. And everyone inside just seems to hate his guts for some reason. That's kind of interesting. Saying the entrance, I think, is around the side. Again, I do want to investigate that as time goes on. But I need that track access hatch pronto. So where the freak is it? The fox doing something now? Can I listen? Fox is freaking sleeping. Anyway, <laughs> I have no idea what I'm talking about, man. Need to find this track access hatch. So we got some Get water. Get your own bloody pump. All right. All right. Bro, I'm backing up. Are you and now everyone wants to beat the crap out of me. Great. Get out of the sight. Keep running. Keep running. Uh, this looks like a good spot to hide, I guess. They're right around the corner. Just gonna hold out for a little bit longer. Back up. Someone's like screaming back there too. Come on, guys. Give up. You ain't gonna find me. I'm the master of hide and seek on my own accord. What I tell you? They all gave up. Perfect. All right, so this Uncle Jack thing. Yeah, we want to steer very clear of that because we've probably made some enemies in the process. But our old house is actually just beyond this point in a zone that we never got a chance to quite investigate. Let's take a look here. Arthur's the only one who didn't expect me to be who he wanted. No idea what that's supposed to mean. Uh, by the way, a lot of people were saying about uh, Sally's baby. She did kind of, you know, do some stuff with the father potentially. So uh, it was jammed to our own house right now. Maybe there'll be a way just around the side, though. Most likely. Yeah, the front door is kind of open. 
We can't just sneak right in. It said we're trespassing, so who's it? Wait, we get our own flashbacks about the train? Young Miss Boyle. What? You know there's a curfew. I was thinking this. You don't this. want some Fritz to shoot you dead, do you? Sorry, sir. Wow. Let's get you home. You had another fight with your mum, didn't you? Hmm. It's a bit more blocky. Why don't I put in a good word? Uh, Miss, uh, Mrs. Boyle? I've got a young lady out here who, um... What's going on? I'm sorry. They don't seem to be at home. What? Okay. Let me go in. They're not at home. Let me take what you the to the station. For a cup of tea. What happened? What? Let me in. Best you don't go in, miss. Cup of tea's best. What did she do? Wait, wait, wait. What did she do? What, what did she do? Wow. Happened. Guys, I didn't see that coming. Whoa, dude, this is an awesome storyline right now. I didn't think they'd have put this much effort in. So there's the uh, please, dude. This is what we didn't see. What did our mother do? What the, bro? What the freak happened? Talk to me, you freaking. What did she do? What did she okay, do? we're gonna back away. It's like a storyline. Pick up. Okay, to all citizens with children. Go ahead and take that one. We're in like our. What did she do? That's sad. That's really sad. That truly is. And Mum said, you don't have to worry about the train. No one's going on the train. Wow. Shut up, Sally. You're a big girl. Stop That's crying. crazy, dude. That's actually kind of sad when you think about that. So much she didn't want to lose her daughters. And then we're just like walking back through. Bro, this feels like a horror. I can't see anything. Uh, someone just... That was definitely someone knocking. Am I like delusional right now? This is freaking me out. I gotta go back out. How the mood just... There's something about this house. I'm telling you guys, look at this. What the freak is going on? Up here? Oh boy. Oh. Ah! What the heck is going on? Huh? Woo! Okay, I gotta go, I gotta go. Nine stairs. I'm back outside. Who the freak is that? I gotta be ready. We've got trespassers everywhere. Dude, you can see they're infected. They got the stuff coming out of there. All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my. Okay, I'm gonna freaking die. That's an axe to my forehead right there. Yeah, I think I might be done. I have no health items either. Are you kidding me right now? That really sucks. I think I may actually die on this one. Coming through, guys. I see this right here. Put the weapon away. Give me that one. And uh, yeah, give me that one. Okay, guys. I went ahead and assumed squat position far away from my old house. Wow, though. The moment you get triggered. It's like, also the music's a bit more high octane. What has Sally done here? She's got like a troubled past. If you're wondering as well why I haven't actually healed up just yet, you can't when you're in combat. So I'm gonna have to wait to craft the items like now. Now I should be able to do it and thank goodness for that. Okay, so all healed up. I'm gonna keep the weapon away. Once I get in my house, then I'm gonna have to pull it out. It's just the problem is visibility. It got so dark in there thanks to the bad memories we have. Here we go. We've got to do it, guys. There's only one way through this place. Weapon out. This time, guys, I'm ready. So come at me. Sock him right there. And again, come on. And again. Woo! They're quite strong, aren't they? Goodness. Okay, ready to block. Keep him on the stairs. This is how we do it. All right, and take a baseball bat to the cranium. More the stomachium. There you go. Now it says that Sally is bad in combat. Oh, baby, I wouldn't do this for anybody else. Uh, what the freak are you talking about? Kind of strange. I keep hearing knocking again, though. Oh, this guy, look at him. Uh, Eleanor Frostock. Got nothing on her. Not surprised. Uh, his... You know what, this might be what we can use for the chemicals in our different sprays. It says Sally's not good at combat, so we'll hunt around this place too. Nothing in the toilet, thank goodness. Hold up. Listen. There's someone out here. This is seriously weirding me out so much. Like, oh, it goes upstairs. That's where the knocking is. Now we can figure this out. Okay, more combat. That's fine. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Why is the lockpick? I don't have the supplies for that, do I either? Uh, are there any around? Some duct tape there. Maybe if we look around, we might be able to find at least some things. Just had to do a little bit of searching, guys. I've also found a torch, which helps out a lot. But now I can craft the lockpick, and uh, I guess we can gain access to this one. So we'll go ahead and check exactly what's coming within here. Some kind of weird reverberated reverse sound. Oh, boy. It's a bedroom. It looks fairly untouched, you know? Almost like clean. Close that. No one else around here. Ugh. This is so weird. Uh, we'll go ahead and interact with that. So we've got it. We've got to repair our lab. N7 triode. Time to feed Gwen as I well. I think I can fix my lab. Okay, so we have to get back and that's pretty much it. Take a feather. Don't know why I need that. Okay, we've got empty atomizer. Always a good thing to find, I suppose. And we'll stop that record, please. Torch can go off right now. Bad memories. 
Bad memories. Let's try and find ourselves though a track access hatch. I feel like that's gonna be a wise thing down the line because we're probably gonna need to get here to and from. Let's see what we can do. Certainly not a track access hatch, but whoa, man. That's just insane. Maybe we'll find one in here? No. I don't care what you're talking about. Look at that. That's just insane. You know, they just include these things and then you think, and you're like, whoa. All right then. The thing about men a memory is here. they huh. pretend to be brave. So there's something here? When they act brave, it's hard to remember they're just people. I suppose when a man so. seems quite certain of himself, you know he's hiding something. Fair, fair, ginger. What's this all about? You know? Oh, the fashion guy, right? You can't expect me to wear that. Since when do you care about fashion? I thought that was only for silly girls. This is Sally's mum, I think. Gingham. I look like Hansel and Gretel. You've been looking a bit too... provocative. Provocative? I don't even wear a bra yet. Mm, maybe okay. you should. You don't want men to get the wrong idea about you. First I'm not doing enough to get a man, now I'm trying too hard. Just wear the dress, will you? It'll keep away the wrong sort of attention. Okay then, where the heck is this track access hatch? Okay guys, and so we're back. Had to pop a joy to get through. Alright, well thanks for that man, I appreciate it. But my lab is burned down, so don't care. Alright, we gotta repair this thing up. Let's go ahead and do this. Wow, pretty did burn down, didn't it? And then some. How much can we fix up though? It's like most of it, you know. Wow, that's impressive, Mrs. Boyle. Just now see. I just need to replace all my chemicals. Curious question. Stuart. Hold up. I've got to talk to Stuart. Okay. Maybe he's got the chemicals I need squirreled away somewhere. So we have to do that. Let me just score you guys on something, okay? Sally Ball finished fixing up her lab, then proceeded to wipe her head, but she wears the mask at all times. Is she really as smart as we think? Before we go out, guys, one of the things was, uh, I guess, to feed Gwen. Wait, install the baby feeder? We still need that. So we're gonna have to make some baby milk. Let's go ahead and feed Gwen. Time for yum yums. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it is. A strange thing, you know? Just have to be doing this now. Looking after a baby in this crazy dystopian world when pretty much everything was removed? Like, I'll spin that. Gwen, I'm off. So, uh, see ya. Maybe just in the nick of time. Right now, my face is going to be looking sadder than a slap behind. Wait, what? So anyway, guys, we got this note to read. Let's read it. Notice to all citizens with children, by the authority of the occupational authority, all children who will be under the age of 13 on the 22nd of July should now have been registered with the town clerk. Please present your children at the Wellington Wells train station on the morning of the 22nd of July at 9am for transport to Germany. Enclosed is a list of clothing and supplies they will need for their voyage. Note that if your child has issues with bedwetting, rubber pants and serviettes must be provided. Prior to the voyage, school-aged children Children should attend an all-day orientation on the 9th of July at the Wellington Wilds Comprehensive School. Bring a lunch. Mrs. Victoria Bing will conduct an orientation for younger children on the 20th of July with songs and games to prepare them for their trip to Germany. It is imperative that parents portray this travel as an exciting opportunity for the youngsters. As to avoid the anxiety at the train station, please rest assured that the children's absence will only be temporary. You freaking liar! You don't look as happy as can be! Ah, uh, excuse me, I'm in oh my own house. <laughs> You look a bit down. You just get better. I need to pop the joy. Wait, 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 wait. Why is she in my home? Get out of my freaking... What the heck are you doing? No! Yeah. Hey, no! Bro, I am so tripped. What, what is going on? About? Bro, I'm done. Even in my own... No, I'm out! I'm out! Oh, my gosh. I'm gonna go ahead hide in here. I'll be back when they stop freaking screaming, okay? What the heck? What are you doing? Look, I might make that knockout syringe. I don't know what this girl's doing cleaning up my lab equipment. How does she know what I've been crafting? It might be like corrosive to the skin. Then again, she's in my house. Maybe that's exactly what needs to happen. The next objective we've got, guys, is called home cooking. Find the components to go ahead and craft Blackberry Joy. It's literally giving me zero. Though, like, I don't even know exactly how we'd even go ahead and make it. Okay, let me go ahead and close that. Uh, I guess I can't. Hold up a sec. Let me just go ahead and take a seat. How am I supposed to go ahead and find things if I don't even have, like, the slightest idea in what they look like? Hmm. By the way, can this old lady stop? What, what the freak is it with old ladies coming and just looking at my business? Look, that's not yours to look at. Get out. Okay, so the objective we have is called Bad Chemist. Are we running all that way again? Hold up. There is a track access hatch right there, so that's exactly what we're using. Ah, but hold up just a sec. Wasn't we supposed to meet the guy in the garden after a day? Where the freak might he be? I thought he wanted to talk. Is that him there, maybe? Oh dear, he's really upset. Uh, hey. Did you give her her joy? She, he's she really upset. She never loved me. <sighs> she went blabbering on about some childhood sweetheart who left on a train. Wow. <laughs> Apparently, 
He made quite the impression. Did you give her her joy? I almost didn't. I thought Trollope deserves to be in the garden district. She only stayed with me to avoid the unpleasantness of breaking it off. Dang. You haven't taken your own joy, have you? Joy doesn't help. You never really forget, do you? We need these experiences in this world. Makes things fuzzy around the edges, you yep. know. So you can pretend. I want to forget her forever. I'm not sure Oblivion exists. Please. Sure. You want my mojo recipe, don't That's you? That's true. Forgetting could be dangerous. It's not like joy. Hmm. There'll be holes in your memory, like a church made out of cheese, and the whole congregation is mice. You might forget more than you want to. I don't care. Or not enough. It's fair trade. Maybe. Your future for my past. Right. Maybe down the line. For now, weep, Benedict. Weep. Is that too much of a savage thing to say? I don't know. Probably. If it was real life, definitely. Regardless, guys, we have one objective right now. We've got to go ahead and visit the chemist. So we're going to go right there. Let's go ahead and do this. Okay, so we need to make sure that we get there, guys, before 9 p.m. At that time, everything's just... Uh... That's a bit awkward. Look, I've just came from my- Get out of the freaking way! And I'll move! Alright? This again? Are you kidding me? Into a bin? <gasps> oh. Now those bobbies are a bit too close for my liking. But if I stay here, it should be good. Oh man, like this one is just staring at me. Look at that! He knows where I am, he's not talking. Oh boy, just wait for this to all tone down a bit, okay? And everyone forgets just like nothing ever happened. Town, however, is looking the exact same as it did when we was playing as Arthur as well. Okay, this shop looks very similar to the other. Go ahead, open. A different person right there. Look, I'm gonna go ahead and lock your door for you. You're welcome. Now let's speak to Fiona well, Adams. Well, if it isn't Sally Boyle. Himself is upstairs tinkering. Oh, is he? Oh, perfect. It's been weeks now. It's a device you left behind. Apparently, it's quite clever and complex. I oh, just yeah. came to buy some chemicals. It. Over my cold, dead body. Dang. Fiona. It's not just borrowing my man while you were here. I could have got over that. It's the ambitions you put into him. Fiona, I'm uh -oh. sorry. He wants to be more than a village chemist. How's that, I says? Will you go to London what? to study to be a doctor? Will you take over Hayworth Labs? She Dang. still wouldn't take you back, I says. But you've sold him the stars. And now he can't barely see where he's going. Maybe he uh -oh. liked me because I thought he could be more. Uh-oh. You ever think of that? Get Ooh. out of here. Get out, you witch. Why would you say that? And don't let the door hit you in the ass on the way out. Okay. Okay, we'll see my love, Fiona. There you are. Get out of here. <laughs> Get out, you witch. <laughs> <laughs> I love how we tried to be friendly. What the heck is wrong with us? Well, she's mellowed. Yep, as of you, to be honest. Stuart's been working on my old pituitary extractor. Great. Maybe, maybe cool I can get like. it back from him later, when Dang. she's not in the shop. Which will be Wait. when? Harry Cavendish. He still works with the labs, doesn't he? And he owes me a favour. The next person we're going to go and I'll meet, I guess. By his house. Sure. Of course we frickin' will. Though, as I do this, I feel like I'm running around on borrowed time. The closer we get to 9pm, the closer we get to everything around this place being shut down and then having to wait a whole day to do this stuff. Let's just get there nice and quick, right here. Here we go, let's go ahead and knock on the door. Please go Hi. ahead and answer. It's Sally. Uh, Sally Boyle. It is indeed. Just a moment. Just a moment, damn it. Okay. I can't get to the door as fast as I used to. Alright. Well, because you're older, because you put too many things in the way. Sally Boyle. Bro, your eyes. Well, I haven't seen Is he you blind? In a dog's age. What? Wait. What happened to your eyes? Oh, Bro. this little thing. A doctor use miscalculated the brominating reaction, and it blew up in my face. Ah. Then he convinced your house? Dr. Verloc it was my fault. So I got the sack. I noticed that your eyes reason. got very, very sacky. Oh, you don't have to pretend you're interested in the tedious old lab. How's the glamorous life of an experimental chemist? Well, it's a you bit know. blocked at the moment. Can't get mercury amalgam. Did you know mm. they vent gallons of it onto rat home? Oh, but you wouldn't. You've moved on to greener pastures. Well, I'm yeah. Sorry. You can't say that. I thought Anton knew what he was doing. Oh, I don't blame you for leaving us all behind. When love fades, you have to move on. Sure. Well, I'm sure you'll figure out where to find some amalgam. He said rat home. Maybe I will. But someone's got to prove it was Dr. Hughes's fault you lost your eyes. You sure. know, you're right. He could hurt someone else. <sighs> Is that... It's very true. 
Any evidence that it was his fault? You know, now that you mention it, his lab notes. Oh, interesting. He keeps them in his doctor bag. Okay. I bet they're all the evidence I need. Oh, you know what? I bet they'd also tell me how to extract the amalgam you need. But could he see what he's doing? The lab is piping onto rat home. Here's where he lives. Come back, can still see. and I'll tell you where to find the pump outlet. Don't go anywhere. Tip for tap, man. dream of it? Dang. All right, close the door on our face without touching it. Yeah, we're going to leave right now. Again then, guys, just due to the time of the night, nearly anyway, we're going to stick to the outskirts of this place and get straight over to that location. Bad chemistry. Let's see if someone was playing as Arthur. Did we even see that place? Okay, is this going to be our way back in? Crap. I think we may be messing up with this one, guys. It's pretty far away. Uh, I got 14 minutes. 13 minutes to get this done. Now I've got 12 minutes. Oh boy, that's ticking down faster than under hopes. 11, 10, 9 minutes, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 minute. I gotta run past these bobbies quickly. And it's time. Oh my god, I didn't even have freaking time. It's just gonna be a mad sprint, guys. It's gonna have to be. I've had it with you. Well, I'm gonna get in this place here. Oh my gosh, yeah, I'm being chased. Are you freaking kidding me, man? Can I get a break? Oh my gosh, if I get like closed in here, that will suck so bad. Right, let me try and knock on the door. I can just go in. I better be particularly careful now. Yeah. Sit down. If he knows I'm there, uh. it'll get nasty fast. Yeah, definitely. But let me just wait a sec. This has got to chill out just a tad. Right. There he is, right there. Small. Yep. Close that behind me. I can't let anyone see me. At least the back end of me. So two down there. This feels like something out of Resident Evil right now. This. Uh, that sounds very bizarre. So open this here. I think in there. Let me just go ahead and walk through. Fire burning through the floor, don't care. My power's out. Alright. Whoa, this ambience is insane. Gotta go ahead and unlock this one. I don't think anyone's here. Oh, you bastard! Oh boy, let's go. Let's go. That was way too close. Back on our hands and knees. Watch that guy. So there's a lot of docks in this place. And I mean a lot. I still haven't found exactly what we want though. We need Mr. Hughes' bag or Dr. Hughes' bag. Can't see you. Oh my freaking god. This stinks so badly. I don't know where the heck I'm supposed to go. Lock this. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay, I'll go this way here. And then go ahead, lock this up. Okay, sounds good. Zip up a lip. Search this. All right, now maybe I'm going to have to hide under here for a bit. Just got to wait. Then we're going to keep going on to try and find this thing. Though I'm seeing like a trail lead from this bed. I guess we're good. That's right there. I didn't know how close I was there. Hmm. Where could this thing be? There's something going over to like here. You see that? Perhaps we can find it. It's down below. This is, this is so this this must here. be the bag. Finally, I freaking found it. Well, okay, give me that. Another atomizer. Search that. Nothing in there. Can't jump out either. So I'm probably just going to make a mad dash for this one, I think. Yeah, we're going to definitely get running, guys. Oh, yeah, it will. That's a chainsaw, so I'll be seeing you. Okay, look. I just got to go, guys. I locked that. So we're going out. Problem is, it's the dead of night. Is it here or in there, you know? I wonder if Gwen was fitting close here. Close it. She'd need to I be able to count breathe. It, Yep. Some source of oxygen and soundproofing in case she starts crying. The points go down and down, you see. I bet as Lionel time goes on. can make something like that. Wow. Lionel again? How many things do you want? I'm just going to do the same thing I did before, guys. Mad dash. I don't really know what else I can do in this situation. Kind of sucks, but yeah, what can you do? Fucking jubilator on the streets right now? What the heck? That's crazy. Why are these things out and about all of a sudden? I never... Uh... Looking like you're having a hard time piloting that thing, but all right. I gotta get round it somehow. Oh boy, this sucks, but it's gotta be done. Let me run past this thing real quick. Okay, they have a longer alert time, thank goodness. Yeah, it's gone orange. Gotta take, oh, man, this is so difficult. This freaking sucks. Holy crap, holy crap, that was insane. So the Jubilators are like a much more intense version of the uh, Bobbies, I guess. Man, being out at nighttime is so bad. Right now, it's like so much worse than when you're Arthur. So if I take a left here, this should be where my hatch thing is. Yeah, okay, whatever, guys. Okay, going in here. See you later. Take care. Goodness me, this is insane right now. It's like much more difficult. So I'm gonna sleep. It's then gonna become daytime, and then we'll go and drop off the stuff. So let's go ahead and drop this thing off. Knock on the door. Harry? I guess he's still gonna be there. It's Sally. Uh, Sally Boyle. He's probably on his way. Wait for it. Just a moment. Can we confirm? Just a moment, damn it. Same one. Get to the door as fast as yeah. I used to. He's on his way. How's it going, Did man? Did you get Dr. Hughes's bag? I've got it. Aren't you Brillo? Well, can be said. Here's the formula you'll need. Hey, you let's go. You can get to Rat Home via the maintenance tunnel. That's what we needed. There's a code at the door. Okay. It's 1649. Perfect. I really am sorry about the accident. Dang. 
I thought Anton had a handle on things. Yeah, well, I guess. Now we know. Cheerio. Why could the baby's Gwen needs to have a diaper changed? Oh my goodness me. We'll see. Wow. I'll need a few things before I go. Yeah, we're gonna. I can get there from any hatch. Sure. Now I've got. Yeah, let me just double check. Okay, it's up there. Sorry for cutting in right there, Sally. So, quest found right home. That's our next thing. Joy's on. It's like last moments, guys. So we've got to be nice and quick. But what I think I'm going to go ahead and do Aunt? now then. Those peepers weren't there before. Uh-huh. Why are they trying to keep people out? That's the exact same thing I thought before. And I got caught by Arthur and never checked it out. Maybe down the line? Maybe down the line? But for now... Oh, boy. Don't look as this is bad. As can be. Yeah, my cheeks are a bit saggy at the minute. I'm sorry. About to pop another joy once I get in my track exercise. Goodness me. Fortunately, we made it back then, guys. So I guess I'm going to wait this out. And I think I'm actually going to leave this episode here. I feel like for this one, we got a good amount done. Then again, I always feel like that. And it turns out I got nothing done. I guess that we learned a little bit of the past of Sally Boyle. We're starting to learn more and more as time goes on. Now we're just going to get this Blackberry Joy thing flowing again. Because the Bobbies, they're not going to be happy if we can't. But for this episode, guys, we are going to leave it here. And I hope you did enjoy. If you did, why not drop me that? like creating and hey if you're new around here why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here so thank you so much for watching this video guys i of course hope you did enjoy and i will of course see you on the next one